Hey everybody, thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this locking gatefold card or gatefold gate lock card, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what I end up putting in the title of the video. But right now, this is how it looks when you take out the envelope. This is a six by six size, and then the sides just pop out from underneath the topper, and you have this gatefold with a little bit extra on the sides there. It's really nice, you've got space, and then you just pop it underneath like so. You've got space on the back to write your message, and I've used one of the new stamps here as well. This is all using the brand new Dovecraft Butterfly Kisses collection. It's stunning, it's my new favorite. And I've incorporated this card with my Butterfly Border dies. Now, you would have already seen the five by seven version of this card, which I would have shared recently, and I used my other five by seven borders. But for those of you that do have the six by six, these have actually sold out right now, but I thought those of you that do have them, this will give you some inspiration because it works beautifully with this collection. So let me show you how I've made this really fun card. So this is the Butterfly Kisses decoupage pad. They're really nice. Love their decoupage kits when they bring them out. And then I've got the 8x8 Butterfly Kisses paper pad and you can see all of the papers there. I did do an unboxing of this kit so you get to see it. Well, I say kit but the collection in more detail and if you click on the link there you'll be able to see that one. Now you don't need to use the edges and actually I'm going to make today's card without using any edges but the one that I used was this one here so I know again lots of you do have this one like I said it has sold out but I did recently share a card and I showed you how to use the 5x7 because it's a 5x7 version and I used this one here so again if you want to get more inspiration you want to maybe make it in a 5x7 and you missed my previous one check out that link as well. Right so for today's you want a piece of 12x6 cardstock and along the 12 inch side you want to score at half an inch three inches, five and a half, six and a half, nine and eleven and a half. I'll just repeat that again. So half an inch, three inches, five and a half, six and a half, nine inches and eleven and a half. Okay, so that's all the scoring you need. And what's going to happen here is you're going to, it's probably easiest to work from the out outer score lines first so those you're just going to burnish away from you okay like so then the next score lines you're going to fold those inside and again inside and there you'll see you've got your six by six card size but if you just then burnish those two away from you it will basically then help when that person takes this card and opens it that will naturally pop out in the middle so i'm just going to grab my bone folder just burnish all of those score lines okay so if i just kind of hold it like that you can see how you want yours to be so it's an m shape with two little kind of wings and then this flat section in the middle okay so if you aim for that shape then you know you've folded everything correctly that's basically it now it's all down to adding all of the mats and layers so i have quite a few here and i have already stuck down a lot of them now the stamp that i've used is from this stamp set that also goes with the collection you get four clear stamps and i've used the happy birthday and i just stamped that one on the back so all these mats and layers are the same so these are because the panels are two and a half by six these silver ones are two and a quarter by five and three quarters and then the paper is two by five and a half. So you're going to need eight okay, of each of those sizes. Now I have done it so that I've got this one is going to go in there, then the green is going to go there. These, no actually Oh, I do like the green in the middle though, so maybe I'm going to change, yeah, I think I'll keep the green there. And then when you close it, I'm going to have the purple here, which will have the topper on there as well. And then on the back, it's going to have one of them, and then the other floral one, just to continue that on the back. Okay, so that's eight of those sizes that I gave you. And then if you don't have any borders, you're going to have these two pieces here, which do look really nice. And I've just cut, because they're half an inch by six, this is a quarter of an inch by five and three quarters. And it's just going to go in the middle there, just to add a little bit of shine, and a little bit of interest to those tiny sections. And then I've got these two here, which are three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters. And they're going to go in the very middle on the front and on the back. 
So I'm going to go and get all of this stuck down. If you are using mirrored card, I've stuck the paper onto the mirror card using double-sided tape or red tape. It would just stick really well and glue would just take too long and end up peeling off. So So that's all the mats and layers now stuck down. You can see the back looks really nice. I love the way the silver just catches the light. I should also add that if you do have these, it might be handy if I show you how I stuck them down, but on that half inch tab, you'll see the half inch tab just underneath here. So that's how the edge cuts out, this big piece here. And you just stick it onto the front of that piece there. So really this is a tab for you. So any edge dies that you have, Use that as a tab and just attach it onto the front. But if not, it still looks really nice with that panel. So then I'm gonna add the decoupage topper. So I've taken this one here. If anybody's unfamiliar with decoupage, basically means to layer. So there's quite a few different forms of decoupage. You can add lots of tissue paper or newspaper to you know, decorate or cover a box. And it's all those layers that you add in between glue or whatever it is you're using, what medium to attach it all. But this is another form of decoupage. So what you have here, I'm going to take this one out so they pop out and you'll see they're in steps and don't worry if you take them all out and then they're all jumbled up basically the largest one is the first one that you use you finish with the smallest ones so I'm just going to pop these out this one's actually one of the simpler ones there's only the three steps and then you have these as extras maybe they should have been or oh, they're saying they're three all together and then you have your topper there if you want to use that one I think I'm going to use Maybe you're lovely. I think that's a really nice one. So we've also got those left, so you know, either keep them in the paper, I pop them all out and I put them in a little little, you know, maybe just pop them in one of these as part of that collection and then you've got them all together. But then if you've got some foam squares which are already very small, then that's great. But I have these here. I'm just gonna trim some down to size. That's actually gonna be probably enough. And then I'm just gonna add some onto this piece here. And then the idea is, is that you line it up with the one underneath. So I'm gonna focus on the actual ring. Everything else will just kind of fall into place. So now that's raised, but you still get to see this. And then the butterfly, actually all I'm gonna do is pop a little bit of foam just on the body so I can lift the wings up. That's probably a little bit too long. Let's just cut that in half. And then I'm just gonna pop just a little bit of foam, like I said, just in the center there, and then sit that over the top. But now you can see, starting to create all this dimension. And then these here, I can just pop some more foam, that one there. And then these ones will just line up perfectly over the top of those like so so now we have this really nice topper now I want this topper to go in the middle here so I'm just going to take one of these foam pads and I'm going to pop it in the middle and then I'm going to do I want it like that or like that I think like that and then I'm going to sit that right in the center and then I'm going to have the your lovely I'm going to cut another one of these just in half and actually I'm going to move this up. So let's pop a bit more foam there so we'll just double this up. So I'm going to have that a bit higher so I'll have that there and then I'm going to have this one with the Your Lovely like so. So now that will pop out when the card's displayed, so that's what you'll see. But then that will just pop underneath and that's how it looks when you pop it in the envelope. I think it's so cool. I love how it locks inside there. Like I said, you've got all that space on the back there for your message. But look how nice that looks on the front. And again, you can just kind of lift that up a bit more, give it a bit more dimension. And because this has dimension, if you use one of my box envelopes, I've got the six by six and the five by seven, I'll link it up here then you know, it just protects it then when you do post it. So those are the two cards and I think they both look lovely. So whether you do have the border dies or not, I think you'll agree 
they both look lovely and I just love this unusual way to close them all that space on the back and then they just pop open and they look absolutely beautiful when they're displayed so I hope you've enjoyed this kind of slightly different gatefold style from me today and as always I'll link all of the products that I've used in the description box below I'll link some other tutorials up here as well and if you haven't subscribed please do so and also hit that notification bell because then you will be notified when I upload a new video thanks for watching bye